Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this presentation, we will discuss what frontal lobe epilepsy is, the functions of the frontal lobe, symptoms of frontal lobe epilepsy, and treatment for frontal lobe epilepsy. Frontal lobe epilepsy is a common form of epilepsy in which clusters of brain cells send abnormal signals resulting in seizures taking place. Causes of frontal lobe epilepsy are abnormal brain tissue, infection, injury, stroke, and tumors. Frontal lobe seizures can also be related to autosomal dominant nocturnal frontal lobe epilepsy, a genetic condition in which seizures take place at night. The frontal lobe plays a role in decision-making, self-control, and emotional regulation. Cognitive functions such as maintaining attention, high-level thinking, and problem-solving also take place in the frontal lobe. Physical movements take place in the frontal lobe. The right frontal lobe controls the left side of the body, and the left frontal lobe controls the right. Language, logical thinking, and analytical reasoning take place in the left and right frontal lobes as well. Frontal lobe seizures last less than 30 seconds on average. Common symptoms are difficulty communicating, repetitive movements, changes in personality, impulsive behavior, speech, and coordination problems. There are many treatments for patients with frontal lobe epilepsy. After testing takes place and doctors can see where abnormal activity is taking place, a treatment plan can be put into effect. Medication is the first resource doctors use, but does not guarantee that a patient's seizures will become controlled. Other options, such as a vagus nerve stimulator, can be put into place to help control seizure activity. Other options, such as an RNS, can help to detect abnormal brain waves and send pulses to prevent the seizure from taking place. Surgery is one of the last options doctors will resort to. Brain mapping is conducted to pinpoint the correct area where abnormal activity is taking place. Because of the important roles the frontal lobe does, if surgeons cannot remove the affected area, guided laser therapy can be done in place of surgery. To learn more about what frontal lobe epilepsy is, please check out our resources used in our presentation today. Please like and follow us on our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy.